So a question that comes up quite often has to do with the uh, the flexible solar panels mounted here on the roof of the RV. And the question is uh, how hot do they get with the uh, insulated backing on them versus if they had a, uh, a little bit of airflow underneath like a traditional solar panel would. I have a pretty good uh, setup here to compare. I have two 110 watt uh, solar panels up here mounted in series and those are going through uh, a Victron uh, solar charge controller and I have a similar setup there on the ground that uh, is also about 115 watt solar panels mounted in series pretty close to the same configuration. The only difference is that uh, those are on the ground and they have a little bit of ventilation uh, no backing on them and these are mounted flat on the roof with that plastic cardboard backing. So let's take the temperature gun, compare the temperatures, and we'll look at the overall performance and see and see what the differences are. My prediction is going to be that these here on the roof are going to be running at a, at a higher temperature, but I'm not sure exactly how much or how much performance I'm really going to be losing uh, between the two setups. So let's find out. Well, it is uh, just a little bit after one in the afternoon and we're in Sedona. The temperature is about 80 degrees or so, I would say. Let me tell you something about the solar panels. Uh, the ones here on the, on the ground and the ones on the roof that I showed you, they both are pretty close to identical. A little bit of variation, but the solar cells in them are all identical. They all have the uh, copper-backed sun power prime cells in there so they've all pretty much gone through the same manufacturing process so they're very very similar the only difference between the two setups is the solar charge controller for these ground deployed ones is going through a Victron 100 volt 20 amp solar charge controller while the ones on the on the roof there are a 30 amp charge controller Victron also so a little bit of difference there, but they're all synchronized together and uh, charging in parallel. Let's uh, first start out by looking at the, uh, the performance of both of these arrays, because they're both separated in two solar arrays. I'm going to get behind the camera here and I'll show you. All right, so if we pull up the Victron app, we can compare the power output from both of these uh, sets of solar panels. Let's start with the, uh, the ones that are ground deployed down here. That's my auxiliary array. We'll pull that information out of the solar charge controller here and that's 187 188 watts total that's bringing in right now at uh, 35 volts 36 volts because they're wired in series so the total output of the solar charge controller is 13.3 13.4 amps right now so not too bad let's go compare that with the uh, with the output of those uh, two panels on the top of the RV, and that's going to be my rear setup here. Pull that up, and a little bit higher, so 192 watts uh, total, and pulling in, yeah, about 35 uh, volts total in series, and the total output from the solar charge controller is 13.7 amps, so just a tick more than the ground deployed uh, panels down here. Now with both of those uh, sets of panels pulling in about 190 watts total, it's going to be interesting to see how the surface temperature is going to vary from one set to the other. I'm not sure uh, where it's going to land, but let's go find out. All right, so we've got about uh, between 118 uh, degrees Fahrenheit to up to 122, 123 degrees Fahrenheit. So I guess not too bad. The ones that I've checked before, uh, typically with traditional panels and other panels side by side, it's been about 140, depends on the day and so forth. So let's head up to the roof and check the temperature on those solar panels.
So the temperature on the panels up here are a little bit warmer, between about 120 to 132 degrees. It's just interesting because the, the panels up here seem to be performing a little bit better than the ones down there on the ground, which are actually uh, a little bit cooler. So it's just an interesting experiment. Answers a question that I get quite a bit about the uh, flexible solar panel cooling and temperature and performance and all that. So uh, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.